Jesus takes the wheel has never been more applicable. Arsenal fans all around the world have been waiting in anticipation for the return of the one and only Gabriel Jesus. The star striker suffered a tragic, long-term knee injury on the 2nd of December 2022 during Brazil's final group game against Cameroon at the World Cup. The 25-year-old was diagnosed with a medical collateral ligament injury and underwent surgery soon after. Fans have not seen the striker in red and white since then and are really eager for his return. Will this be a comeback that will go down in history or a loss to Arsenal's legacy? Now this is the million dollar question indeed. Will the icon live up to his expectations? Jesus reportedly became a member of Arsenal in July of 2022 with a deal worth 45 million pounds. The striker had made a name for himself during his time as a forward for Manchester City, where he won not one but four Premier League titles, three EFL Cups and the FA Cup. Since becoming an eminent part of Arsenal, Jesus continued to showcase his brilliance in every single game. This talented footballer has scored five goals and further provided five assists in only 14 Premier League matches, which were more than enough to put him on the map. Arsenal is faring well, even in the absence of their star center forward, with Eddie Nikita, Landry Trossard, and most recently, Gabriel Martinelli filling in for the void left by Jesus, especially since they are aiming to clinch their extremely anticipated first league title since 2004. The millions of fans out there are all craving for the team's victory. The Brazilian's return is predicted to be on the move for Mikel Arteta in March, ahead of a settling run of fixtures in the Gunners season. The Arsenal forward Jesus has been edging closer to the payback mode. After months of rehab from a knee injury he endured during the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, he has been tirelessly working out to put his best forward. Gabriel has shown beyond doubt to be a key player of Arteta's squad the season before undergoing his injury, scoring five times and laying out a further five assists in 14 Premier League appearances. Eddie Nikita has proved that he is competent enough to be a solid backup option for Gabriel, but Arsenal has now gone five games without a goal. Arsenal fans are left to prophecy the return of Jesus as all news regarding his return is being closely guarded. There has yet to be an official statement regarding his status in the coming game. Mikel Arteta, manager for the Gunners, is refusing to confirm whether Jesus has traveled to Lisbon for the team's Europa League last 16 first leg clash with Sporting. All questions regarding a potential return date are left unanswered, leaving fans anxious and Arteta is defending all questions about whether Jesus can be expected for the international break at the end of the month, keeping the fans on the toes. According to the UEFA rules, the opening 15 minutes of training on the eve of each match is open to the media, and Jesus is seen training alongside his teammates. Arteta is continuing to deflect questions regarding the return of the star forward. As a reply to all fans, he said, We have bought a few players, and you can see on Thursday who is available. Arsenal's official social media accounts show a group of players boarding the delayed flight to Lisbon. Jesus is not seen among them. Further speaking debates on his return, Arsenal officials are maintaining silence stoically when directly asked whether Jesus has traveled to Lisbon. Nevertheless, Arteta has provided a positive update regarding his number 9. He acknowledged that Jesus has been participating in training with the squad. Number 9 is not expected to play in the upcoming match against Sporting, but there is hope that he will make his comeback at the next match against Sporting in Emirates on March 16. Arteta has made an official statement regarding the return of the striker. We will try to make a fair assessment between what he needs and when is comfortable, as well as giving the team a boost that is going to need in the next few weeks for sure. Everything is going well, and he needs time as well to get himself the confidence and the physical state necessary to compete with a free mind. And once he's free to do that, we will throw him in. Arteta has made it clear that Jesus is not being rushed back into action and they are giving the necessary care for the players so that he doesn't feel pressured and exhausted himself. He is recovering quietly and steadily so as to give him the best comeback game ever. This coming match is going to be a game changer in Gabriel's career as well. The lineup for the next match has become a hot topic of discussion, with Jesus, Nikita and Trossard out due to their respective injuries. Gabriel Martinelli is the fan favorite, although Emile Smith-Rowe and Fabio Vera are substitute candidates for a potential false number 9. Whilst the lineup is expected to be phenomenal, Jesus fans want their god in number 9 out there doing his thing and creating history.
The likes of Landry Trissard and Eddie Nikita have impressed in his absence, but Jesus' return will be a tremendous boost for Mikel Arteta's side down the stretch. Jesus is posting updates on his personal Instagram account, which shows his willingness and longing to return to the field. He recently tweeted a picture of him back on the field, playing with a bowl. The tweet captioned, step by step, along with multiple emojis and the hashtags of Alomeo and Gratidao, which roughly translates to hello mother and gratitude. The first hashtag is a reference to an iconic phone call celebration to his mother. This productive vibes do suggest the fact that Jesus is in a really good mental state and is ready to be back in the game. The official YouTube channel of Arsenal Football Club shared a four minute long video of the training session with the title Gabriel Jesus Returns to Training. Netizens say Jesus being back is one of the most fearful things that can happen for the last part of the season. Having Jesus back is signing a new striker again, says another fan. I mean, can we disagree? The team getting its prime member back is indeed a blessing that the team needs right now. Jesus being back is going to inject even more life and energy into this team. The fans are literally going to be on the moon to see their ace player back on the field. The spirit of the game is going to be filled with top-notch vivicity. What a time to have Gabriel back. He's increasing the intensity in training, but he's not fully there yet. We can see the determination to be back in full form in his practice sessions. This game will surely be substantial to his career. The fandom is definitely going to be an encouraging crowd that Jesus can look forward to. It was seen as a major step forward for Jesus as he returned in full training with the team, as London Cooley head of the first leg of the Europa League last 16 clash at Sporting. It is not yet clear whether he will be part of the actual matchday squad by Mikel Arteta, but just his appearance on the plane is another big sign that Jesus' long-awaited return is in the offing. The striker has posted another update on Twitter, showing his recovery process. Jesus has posted a minute and a half long video, where he steps up the intensity of his exercises with boxing stretches and body resistance training. The player is giving his best to give a performance of his lifetime. The Brazilian will not make it to the trip to Lisbon, but Arsenal hopes to welcome Gabriel back to the fold before the international break. Thus, he could make his comeback at the Emirates next week, when Sporting returns for the second leg. Fans are undoubtedly worried whether his return could result in more injuries during the upcoming matches. Jesus has undergone intense treatment to get back into the game. The knee is definitely something to worry about, but let's all keep positivity out there and hope for the best. Thankfully, his long road to recovery is nearing an end. Arsenal has been without Gabriel since 2022 World Cup, but is looking forward to having the striker back for the momentous end-of-season period as they take up their dive for the Premier League title. Will this be a comeback that will go down in history or a loss to Arsenal's legacy? Only time will tell. Let's all sit back and hope for the team to bring their greatest game till date.